What is up, weather enthusiasts? I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so here's the situation we have for you, ladies and gentlemen. We have Tropical Storm Felipe that is currently meandering in the Atlantic Ocean, followed by Tropical Storm Rena that just formed earlier this morning. We'll have to keep a huge update on that uh, on that as time continues to go on. I'm also paying attention to the Caribbean as some model runs are potentially showing a Central American gyre starting to organize and develop and then potentially strengthen up into something rather substantial. So we'll have to keep a very close eye on it as time continues to go on. But in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and go over the two big things that we're going to be sh uh, showing you. We have Tropical Storm Felipe. As of right now, it is currently a 50 mile per hour tropical storm, minimum central pressure of 1,002 millibars. Its current location is 18.6 degrees north, 54.6 degrees west, and it's moving west-northwest at 2 miles per hour. It's been kind of engaging with Rena as of right now. It's been kind of just stalling and staying all over the place as of right now. Here's the cone. Yesterday, the cone had this thing heading towards the Lesser Antilles. Now, it's kind of stalled out and kind of just staying over there before being launched to the north northwest at that point so we'll have to keep a very close eye on it and this is a very interesting phenomenon that's about to go on so that's what we have going on it's currently located 560 miles east of the northern leeward islands uh, tropical storm force winds extend out 175 miles from the center so we'll have to keep a close eye on it and here is the discussion right here felipe remains a very disorganized and longitated storm Geostationary and microwave satellite images show a low-level circulation center well west of the mid-level center where most of the deep convection is currently concentrated. The estimated center shows, the, and this advisory is roughly midway between those features, and the initial intensity is, st is staying at that point. The initial motion is highly uncertain since the storms are longitated and confidence with the initial position is very low. The track is forca uh, forecast is challenging, challenging, excuse me, in part due to Felipe's close proximity to newly formed tropical storm Rena. In the short term, a slow southwestward motion seems likely as Felipe moves into a weak steering current between the mid and upper level trough to its northeast and Rena to its east southeast. By late this weekend, a mid Atlantic ridge is anticipated to build up over the subtropical central Atlantic and potentially push that further to the northwest uh, to the north northwest. Environmental conditions. For Felipe, no longer seen unfavorable given its expected track. It is expected to stay at a 50 mile per hour tropical storm for the next four days before starting to gradually weaken shortly thereafter. So we'll have to keep a very, very close eye on it as time continues to go on. And as we're as we continue to move through this, this could potentially set up a Fujiwara effect between Felipe and Rena. What a Fujiwara effect is, for those of you who do not know, it's basically when two thunderstorms start to in uh, well, not two thunderstorms, but two her uh, tropical systems start to interact with each other, and basically they eventually the eventual result of that is one of them merging into another. And it also ap applies to uh, mesocyclones and mesoscale thunderstorms as well in the Great Plains. I actually personally saw that out in, in near Amarillo, Texas on my storm chase trip back in May. So that was pretty cool to see. But in the meantime... <clears throat> The end result is one of the storms is going to get absorbed by the another. No, the, miscon the misconception is basically two tropical systems collide and turn into a super tropical cy cyclone. That's not how that works. If that were the case, that we'd have a serious problem on our hands. But no, that doesn't work. I don't care how many people in the media thinks it, uh, thinks it was with Marco and Laura. It doesn't work like that. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and talk about Tropical Storm Rena at this point. Tropical Storm Marina has been pretty interesting. It currently has winds of 40 miles per hour. It was issued just this morning, and it currently has a pressure of 1,005 millibars located at 17.4 degrees north, 445 uh, degrees west, and it's moving north-northwest at 10 miles per hour. It is forecast to turn more to the west-northwest, but mainly stay on that track for the next few days as it mainly stays out to sea. But that Fujiwara effect is going to be very interesting how that plays out. So here's what we have go, uh, going on. It, it's currently located about uh, uh, 1,200 miles east of the Leeward Islands. It's moving north-northwest at 10 miles per hour once again. Tropical storm force winds extend out 60 miles from the center. Not surprising due to this being a new tropical system. Here's what we have with Rena. It is actually forecasted to get up into a 60 mile per hour tropical system as time continues to go on, but then gradually weaken as it starts moving into stronger wind shear and cooler waters at that point. And yeah, this is about to be a very, 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 very interesting situation 
as time continues to go on. And as we continue to get into this active weather period, be sure to check out my friends over at Prestige Weather Consulting. They do individual one-on-one weather consulting catered for your local area. For more information, you can find a link to their website in the description down below. And be sure to use code PREDICTOR for the 50% off your first month. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and get into some operational models. Here's the European model we have pulled up right here. A lot of these models are going to be very weird, just a heads up, at least with Felipe and Rina. So please bear with me while I'm showing you these. Here's what we have for the European model as of right now. So here's the situation. Rina's expected to intensify at a pretty decent pace at this point. The European is actually forecasting Felipe to remain a low pressure system and kind of just meander close to the lesser Antilles and then be, and then starts to launch more and more towards the north as the Fujiwara effect does take effect and Felipe becomes the sole system and kind of just stays out in the Atlantic Ocean and not really does much primarily due to the poor steering currents that are over there. So that's what we have with the European model. Next model run we are showing you is the GFS. Here's the GFS. GFS has been very interesting to say at the very least. The GFS actually has Felipe moving, uh, kind of starting to make that dance with Rina at that point, and then it kind of slingshot uh, more and more out to sea while be absorbing Tropical Storm Rina as a potentially strong Category 2 or Category 3 hurricane as it moves out to sea, and then the high pressure system kind of just blocks it from really moving anywhere after that point. So we'll have to keep a close eye on it as time continues to go on this is going to be a weird situation so just keep an eye oh just keep an eye on it and whenever you see updates just understand that this, this is a very bizarre and actually rather rare situation we have right here where we see a whole uh, or we see a whole system actually two systems just form a massive dance around each other and then one of them eventually absorbs the other so you don't see this very often in the in the Atlantic basin at all or anything like that so we'll keep a very close eye on it next model run we need to show you is the CMC model CMC has been pretty interesting it has Felipe approaching the lesser Antilles but then being slingshotted to, to the north due to the weak steering currents and Rena's influence at that point in time while at the same while at the same time keeping both of those roll pressure systems separate and kind of just shredding them apart. But then we have something interesting starting to happen. The Central American Gyre I was talking about earlier, the CMC is showing this starting to show up at that point and starts to organize and develop and potentially develop into a pretty big big system, potentially into a hurricane as we get closer and closer to time at that point. It already starts to form about seven days out. And this has been a very consistent trend with the CMC model, so we'll have to keep a very close eye on it. I was talking with Weather Center Nazario, and he's been picking up on this whole situation as well. And he thinks it's increasingly likely that something like this could potentially happen. We'll have to keep an eye on it as time continues to go on. I don't think I'll be completely honest with you guys. The CMC is one of the only models showing this. Even so, they've been pretty consistent with this. So take it with a grain of salt. We'll keep an eye on it, and that's all I'm going to say about that. That next model we're going to go ahead and show you is the NavGem model at this point in time. The NavGem, similar to the European, similar to the GFS, the Fujiwara effect kind of takes a place, but at a smaller degree than the GFS. The Fujiwara effect actually has a Felipe strengthening into a hurricane while being pushed out further and further to sea. As you can see right there, Rena and Felipe remain their separate storms right there. But even so, uh, even so, Felipe kind of sl slingshots Rena further to the north northwest at that point which i think is pretty interesting instead of just outright absorbing it so we'll have to keep an eye on it as time continues to go on last model we're going to go ahead and show you is the icon model and the icon has also been quite interesting to say at the very least the icon has been agreeing with the european and cmc of this thing approaching the lesser antilles and gradually strengthening before starting to turn more and more to the north out to sea so this is a very interesting setup we'll have to keep an eye on as time continues to go on, we continue to see that split in the models with the European, CMC, and ICON all calling for a lesser Antilles impact. And we're all, and then the GFS and the NavGem are calling for more of a Fujiwara effect. So we'll have to wait and see how these whole these runs play out. We'll keep an eye on it for here in the Pat's Path Predictor channel. And now we're going to go ahead and show you the conditions that we've been talking about. The conditions across the Atlantic Ocean are still very much primed for development. Global sea temperatures across where Felipe and Rena are 29 to 30 degrees Celsius or 84 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit for those of you who live in the United States. More than enough warm water for these things to really get their act together and start organizing and developing especially Felipe if it approaches the lesser Antilles and moves into those 30 plus degrees Celsius waters over there so 
definitely something to keep an eye on. And installing for in the as their antillas would actually short term be a good thing for Felipe's intensification, primarily due to these warm waters and the ocean heat content that it brings with it. And as you can see right here, the ocean heat content is absolutely not letting up anytime soon. OHC from pretty uh, from pretty much this the Atlantic basin through the Caribbean has remained historically high. We're seeing 200 plus OHC areas across much of the Caribbean Sea and where the lesser Ant near the lesser Antilles is we're looking at around 150 OHC especially where near Felipe is so if it can take advantage of that OHC and the warm water and the decreasing shear that it's now facing yeah I could definitely see trouble on the horizon for those of you who are watching from the Leeward Islands and potentially the Virgin Islands if it moves far enough to the west so this is something we need to continue to keep an eye on as time continues to go on also that gyre that's starting to form near Central America, it's going to be moving through a massive area of 200 plus OHC if it ends up developing like the CMC is anticipating it to. More than enough fuel for explosive intensification. We all saw what happened with Hurricane Lee with like 100 to 125 OHC. It went from an 85 mile per hour Cat 1 to a 165 mile per hour Category 5 in a matter of 24 hours. So that was a very crazy situation looking at that now we're going to go ahead and show you the wind shear wind shear for felipe has been decreasing as it continues to move towards the lesser antilles where rena is it's a bit more complicated there is definitely some outflow from felipe that's impacting rena at this current time however given that these two are so close to each other it's really hard to make out which is which well not exactly which storm is which but exactly just how bad the shear is overall so that's what we have in the Atlantic. In the Caribbean Sea, the conditions are starting to show more and more favorability over time. And we'll have to wait and see how that wind shear kind of pl uh, plays out, especially with uh, what's going on with that gyre. I want to go ahead and pull up the Europeans' wind shear forecast to kind of get a better understanding of this to see what, we, what would be happening. So we're at 168 hours out. Definitely weak enough wind shear for such a gyre to organize and develop and potentially strengthen into that tropical system we all love to fear. So we'll have to continue to keep a very, very close eye on the whole situation we have right now, the whole nine yards. We'll keep you updated here on the Pat's Path Predictor channel. But with that being said, we're closing the video out right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It helps us out, helps us make more videos like these. The goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather. Be sure to check out my friends at Prestige Weather Consultants Consulting for 50% off your first month using the code PREDICTOR. And with that being said, have a wonderful day, guys. Stay safe.